This is the spotted lanternfly. It looks totally harmless. From some angles, it's even kind of beautiful. But this little bug is actually an eco-terrorist. Now a bunch of civilians are on a mission to wipe out this invasive species. Or at least kill as many as possible. They could be flying anywhere. So as of now, we could start seeing them as we're walking. I'm going to show you the area where they are, and then we're all just going to kind of fan out right there and squish as many as we can catch. This fall, Staten Island held its first squish-a-thon to train people how to find and kill the spotted lanternfly. This is supposed to be the worst part for spotted lanternflies in the park, and it's also where they found them first in New York. So they think this is the best place for squishing today. It's a new problem for New York. Spotted lanternflies just showed up here for the first time in 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. We want to kill them as fast as possible by squishing their head with your fingers. This one, pregnant for sure. Do you see that giant yellow on the side and how inflated its belly is? That would be a hundred future spotted lantern flies if we didn't squish this one today. One, two, three. And they might twitch a little bit after they died. You could just try to squish their head again. So just really try to get that head. That's the quickest way to do it. If anybody wants to try to use a net, Look, get it like that. There we go. They have such beady little eyes. Move the bag a little bit, Kate, and then it'll fall in. They're blind, by the way. Oh, it's still alive. Step on it again. Oh, look at that poor guy. They're all over me. They never said bug squishing was easy. Ew, I think that's, I think this one with the big fat yellow abdomen, that means it's pregnant, right? Yep. Kill it. Oh! Do you like squishing these? Oh, sick. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying. Grab it. Gotcha. Oh, wow. You don't even need to put them in the bag. You're just squishing them with your bare hands. Wow. Cool. Squash them. What, yeah. what does it feel like when you squish them? Weird. Kind of feels like they're bleeding. And then you have like all this bug juice all over your bag. Yeah. That's all that happens. Are you going to go home and squish them at your school? <laughs> now that you know what to do? I'm probably going to be squishing them for the rest of my life. What is that? It's disgusting. Yes. It, it looks like it's raining, literally. Yes. It's, it's feces. It's feces, yep. It's oh. all feces. Oh, how refreshing. I'm going to toilet. The lantern flies uh, feces is called honeydew, and they'll just go to the bathroom all over the place. They'll just, you know defecate all over the place, and it'll cause like a black sooty mold to grow in their feces, and it'll just cover all these plants. It makes the plants really unhealthy. It can lower the yields for the crops. This literal shit show started in the U.S. in 2014. The current theory goes that a few spotted lanternflies hitched a ride on a cargo ship from China to Pennsylvania. Because each female can lay at least 35 to 50 eggs, that handful of bugs quickly multiplied. And now there are billions. The spotted lanternflies are threatening orchards, the logging industry, and wine. One study estimated they could cost just the state of Pennsylvania $300 million a year. Parks and local governments now say the problem is too big for them to solve alone and are asking residents to step up. As they say in the bug community, the only good lanternfly is a dead lanternfly. So we're about to go meet Mandy. She is a spotted lanternfly super squasher, and she's going to take us on a bug hunt. Come on in. Okay, great. So this is your bug kit? This is my bug kit. Um, I keep it pretty simple. Honestly, I know this one looks the most fun. My son loves this one. Um, I'm not a great shooter. This is so serious. Yeah. Um, it's like 20 bucks on Amazon. It's just you use salt, um, and I think it's better for killing things at closer range. But this is my... Uh, Executioner. My executioner. This is my tool of choice. This is what I get most of them with. And honestly, I catch most of them just with an empty bottle with like a wide opening. They're really stupid bugs. So if you approach them with a Gatorade bottle, they literally just jump right into it. Mandy Force is a mom of two, a full-time nursing student, and as of a few months ago, a spotted lanternfly assassin. 
In a Facebook group of over three and a half thousand fellow bug haters, she's been dubbed the Black Widow for her savage daily kills. So this is your go-to spot? This is my go-to spot. So this is where I get like about 200 kills a day. Impressive. <laughs> yeah. And you can see, I mean, there's like, they're literally... Nice. They're like caked into wow. the sidewalk. I mean, they're just like everywhere. <laughs> Ew. Ah. Yeah. They are wreaking havoc, and so this normally... This one's still alive! This one's still alive! Ay. Oh, he got away. Mm. Damn it, he's um, right here. I normally don't like killing living things, but um, it's the moral and ethical right thing to do. It's nothing personal against the bugs. They just, this is not where they belong, and they are not welcome here. She looks harmless. She's yeah. a mercenary. How many lantern flies have you killed by now? I think the last time I did the math, it was about 7,000. I'm not like a monster. I would never harm a living being. I love animals, I love insects, I love nature, but I love our community more. If that means I have to kill these bugs, then I will kill these bugs. When COVID hit, it was obviously very difficult being a healthcare worker. Um, and shortly after the pandemic, I was diagnosed with PTSD. And going on my morning walks and killing spotted lanternflies, it, it gives me a reason to get outside and, and get some vitamin D and some fresh air and be in nature. And um, it's been the best thing for me. Biologists think it's probably no longer possible for the U.S. to completely get rid of the spotted lanternfly. And while this civilian army of squashers may be no match for these bugs, Right now, it's better than nothing. When you see signs that say, you know, if you see this bug, please kill it. How do you feel about that as a strategy? Like, do you think that that is a good enough plan if these bugs are so dangerous? Is it good enough? No. I think it's kind of the best we can do at this point until scientists can come up with a better solution. I think we are fighting a losing battle. It's here to stay. It's made that very clear. But if we can keep their population in check by killing the ones that we see and then eradicating trees and removing invasive species of trees that attract them, every little bit that we do is helping someone who is a farmer who does rely on hops, plants, and, and grapes and fruit for a living. 